What if I told you I could make all of your bad audio problems just disappear in a single click, leaving you with clean, crisp audio, even in some of the worst recording conditions? I used to clean up dialogue for films using the best noise reduction and spectral repair tools that cost a fortune. And even then, we could never get results this good. The best part is it's completely free. Honestly, I don't get why more people aren't talking about this. Exactly. In this video, we'll test Adobe Podcast's enhanced speech tool in some tough scenarios like traffic noise, wind noise, clipping, echo or reverb, music in the background, an iPhone microphone, a camera microphone, and a laptop microphone. Spoiler alert, I'm using it right now even though I'm recording the audio properly, in other words, with a good microphone in an acoustically treated room. So how does it work? It's an AI-powered audio enhancer that lives in your browser. You upload your raw audio and it spits back studio quality sound. It removes background noise, levels your voice, and can make cheap mics sound expensive for free. Link down below. So you've heard the traffic noise example. Let's go ahead and have a listen to the rest. Maybe you're out shooting a vlog and you have this nasty wind noise ruining your audio. No problem. You can fix it just like that and make your audio totally usable again. Or maybe you have this nasty distorted clipping from recording your audio too hot. Not anymore. Or maybe you have bad echo or reverb ruining your dialogue. Adobe Podcast can clean that up in a jiffy. You might even have music in the background interfering with your dialogue and you can really easily remove or reduce the volume of that music. Not all of us use external microphones. Some of us just have the built-in one on our phones, but we're able to make it sound like we've hooked up a professional quality microphone to our phones. Some of us do have great quality external microphones, but we might forget to plug it in, which means we have to rely on the camera audio, but Adobe Podcast can make it sound really good as well. We all know what these Zoom type meetings sound like, but we can fix those up and make them sound way more professional. Like I said, even when I record audio in my studio, I run it through Adobe Podcast and slap on my audio preset, which is basically just an EQ suited to my voice, a compressor and loudness adjustment to get the levels to around minus 6 dB where I like it. I feel like it needs to be said that nothing replaces getting good quality audio at the source, but this tool comes in handy when your recording conditions are less than ideal. So why isn't everyone using this? Well, here's the catch. There's a free version and a paid one although there's no reason why people shouldn't be using the free one. Everything you've heard in this video made use of the free version. For most people, the free version is more than enough. Free users get up to 30 minutes per file and one hour of total processing per day, which is pretty generous. But if you're doing long podcasts or batch editing, you'll need the premium plan. This is not sponsored by the way, although that would have been very nice. I genuinely love this tool and I use it all the time and I wanted to share it with you. Link down below if you want to try it out. There's also a 30 day free trial of the premium plan. Premium users get up to two hours per file and four hours of total processing per day. But more importantly, paid users have the ability to dial in the amount of speech enhancement and can adjust the level of the background noise to either make it really clean or still include some natural ambience while isolating the dialogue. My favorite feature is being able to upload the files in bulk. I clean up audio for one of my clients, which sometimes involves me uploading over 150 clips, 75 or more clips with two speakers, and being able to batch upload them for cleanup is a game changer. Only one thing would make it better, and that would be the ability to batch download the clean audio. Comment, we want batch processing down below and Adobe will add it. That's not necessarily true, but it would be cool if it was though, right? Now that you have clean audio, you need to make it stand out above the music in your mix, which means you need to learn this editing trick that I use in every single one of my videos. 